Hello and welcome to Battle Heavyweights Round 8. Let's just jump right in here. Okay, purpose of this round is to talk about range lookups. And a range lookup is where I'm not trying to find an exact matching value. I'm trying to, value the, uh, trying to find a value that falls within a range of values. Equals VLOOKUP, go find this. In table one, return the value from the one, two, three, third column, and true or false, am I doing a range lookup? Yes, I am doing a range lookup. Close function and enter, let's fill it down and check the results. 755 should return 10. 755 returns 10. 5678 returns 250. 12, 3, 4, 5 returns 1,000, 1, 2, 5, 5 returns 100. Okay, so this is working exactly as we expect it to. This is a range lookup. Now, let's go ahead and try it with some ifs, equals some ifs. We want to add up this column of numbers, but we only want to include those rows where the from value is actually less than or equal to my sales value, and where the to column is greater than or equal to this value. Close function and enter. We're gonna come back and revisit that formula in a sec, but let's just go ahead and fill this down and confirm, yeah, we're all working. Okay, so what's the deal? Well, in the last round, we talked about the fact that some ifs operates on multiple conditions. And so here we can say, grab it where the, the from value is less than or equal to, and we enclose that comparison operator inside of quotes. We use the concatenation operator to join our sales value and where the two column is greater than or equal to our sales value. Okay, hit enter. So both of these perform range lookups. So who are we gonna give this round to? Well, they can both do, do this task, but I prefer VLOOKUP, all right? And so this formula is complex, this one is simple. Plus, with VLOOKUP, I don't even need this two column, right? Remember, VLOOKUP is looking in the first most column, the leftmost column only, that's the lookup column. And so I don't even need to express this two column, whereas with some ifs, um, it relies on that. So both can do this task, but I have to give this round to VLOOKUP, okay? Because in practice, this is the one that I would use to do this task, okay? So VLOOKUP is 10 and some ifs um, is nine. Let's go ahead and check the scoreboard here. There we go. So at the end of eight rounds, we have VLOOKUP 74, some ifs 77, and we will see in the next video where we're gonna do our final analysis, all right? Thanks, hey, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.